is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now, your hosts, Barry Church, Heckma Harrison, and Newey Scruggs. Here we are, the National Football League kicking off the 2024 season tonight. Tonight on NBC, Baltimore, Kansas City. Kansas City <laughs> raises the flag. Let me mine up. You are in the Players' Lounge. <laughs> Heckma Harrison is here. <laughs> Former Cowboy Safety Barry Church yo, is in the yo. building. I am What's Newey happening? Scruggs. We've got 45 minutes of professional football talk right here mm. from the SWBC Podcast Studios. The Cowboys are on the practice field right now, getting yeah. ready for the Cleveland Browns on Sunday afternoon in Cleveland, Ohio, mm. on the shores of Lake Erie, right down the road from the Rock and Roll mm-hmm. Hall of Fame. The season will begin four on four. Quarterback Dak Prescott, number four. Sean Watson, number four. Mm. Lots of items to get to. But today, let us talk about the offense of the Dallas Cowboys. Mm, Got their hands full, Nui. They got their hands full. Yes, they do. Left tackle. I'm worried. Mm. Tyler Guyton, I'm worried. I'm worried. Heck, you you look like you're not worried. Nah, like I'm worried. No, well, here's the thing. I, I think everybody knows who Miles Garrett is. Mm-hmm. And have we not been talking about this for three months? At least. At least. At least. Since, the, since the schedule came out, we knew that our, our rookie left tackle was going to have a serious undertaking just right out the shoot against one of the best uh, in the NFL. When you look at Miles Garrett, he is a freak of nature mm-hmm. as an athlete. And PFF. You know, anytime no. something. Hey. <laughs> yeah, right the we won, baby. We Barry's won. favorite. Barry's BFF, favorite. baby. We Don't won. Do <laughs> Don't do me like that, dog. <laughs> Let me, baby. You know, anytime you try to win the argument, right, you, you go straight to BFF. They're going to bring him out. <laughs> I'm going straight to BFF. <laughs> this man has a 95 grade when it comes down to the pass rush. Yeah. And so that's why I believe we've been talking about their running back room and what behooves Mm -hmm. the Dallas Cowboys to generate some type of run when you get up here to Cleveland because, look, that's going to help your rookie center. That's going to help your rookie left tackle. Mm -hmm. What do big fellas like to do? They like to run forward, get downhill immediately, and that's going to help them. Now, Cowboy Nation may not want to hear that. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, run the ball. Run the ball with who win, right? That's going to be the question. But I think with Tyler Guyton and Cooper Beebe, that's what we want to do. We want to try to establish this run right away because what that does is that gives you a dimension to your offense instead of making you one-dimensional. Mm-hmm. And if we do that in Cleveland, somebody ain't going to come out come out of it whole, okay? <laughs> because then what you do is you allow this defense that is already hunt mentality. Mm-hmm. That's what – look, and, and what I was alluding to yesterday talking about them, when you have a defense that's that special and you have a character like that, that can really just like make your defense, make your offense one dimensional or at least force you to try and run everything away from him. Coach Schwartz knows that teams don't want to go directly at this guy. And they're definitely going to give um, they're definitely going to give Guyton as much help as they possibly can Mm -hmm. for the Cowboys. I just feel like once you establish that that balance, if you can establish that balance in the first half, then other guys start to get off, and that's where Ferg comes in. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like, look, here's the thing. When I look at the Cleveland Browns defense, their secondary, there's nothing about them that I say is special. No, I, I, I listen. This, no, I don't. I don't. And I think what makes them special is their pass rush. Seriously, they got a mean pass rush, but they, nah, that secondary. Here's here's my wee. thing. When I look at C.D. Lamb. And I look at Ward, and I think Emerson Jr. on Emerson, the Emerson on the other side, Newsome. Newsome, you know, and and all three of those guys are, are special sitting in a, in a nickel mm-hmm. package that they have. I think that C.D. Lamb shouldn't have any problem with these guys, mm. you know. Okay. So so okay. first thing first, establish the run. No, no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm gonna piggyback off of what you said when you talk about establishing the run because you you gotta be balanced when going against a team like this. Like you said, I mean, if you if you let them just pin their ears back and get after Dak Prescott, it's going to be a long afternoon because Guyton, he's going to have his hands full. Like you just said, he's going right. to have his hands full at that left tackle spot. You can help him out chipping here and there, but that's going to take away from Ferg's offensive production out there. So you, he sometimes he's going to be one-on-one with Miles Garrett, mm-hmm. and it's you know time to step up. But he's not the only rookie that's going to be under a 
attack on that offensive line. Because yeah. just like, you know, Dan Quinn used, you know, the bazooka or the missile, not the, miss. the, the missile the now, miss. <laughs> has, as a chess piece going all over the place. Schwartz does the same thing with, with Miles Garrett. Right. I mean, you see him over top of the center doing that back and forth, trying to get that two-way go on that center so he can get that middle that middle pressure. So Cooper Beebe, he, he's going to be under attack as well. Both of these young guys are going to have a full dose of Miles Garrett. So hopefully they're prepared and ready for that. But when you talk about offensively, they got to find some balance. Whether it's running back by committee, you lead off with Zeke trying to be your you know hammer, then you let you know uh, that'll get in there and do some explosive stuff. They have to find some type of balance, even yeah. if it's only two and a half yards per carry, three yards per carry here and there, nothing exciting, three yards in a cloud of dust. At least it'll keep that defense honest to where they got to kind of respect the run, because if they just can pin their ears back, it's going to be a long afternoon because this defense is special in the fact that they don't have to just blitz. To, to generate pressure. They can generate pressure with those four defensive linemen up front. They're that special. So, to me, it, it's going to be a dogfight because, you know, you may not have a lot of respect for their, their secondary out there, but they got some dogs, and they got some linebackers that can cover as well. Let's center this back here. The initial thing. Tyler Guyton, left tackle, rookie. Hadn't played a whole lot of football. Hasn't played left tackle. Cleveland, Ohio. Miles Gary, the reigning defensive player of the year. Yeah. Yeah. He's like that, man. Concern level? <laughs> level orange? Oh, it's red. Yeah. Defcon. Blair and Defcon. 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 Uh, you yeah. know, Harrison Defcon. Ford from the, you know, he's coming out of the blue. Where everybody's M- McCar- out. Mike McCarthy, the head coach, he said he's, he's going to have to spend some time out there, a little solo. Going to have to do a little bit solo out there. <laughs> I just I hope it's not too long. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe on rundowns, you let him, you know, yeah. you, know, you yeah. believe he went on, especially known pass rushing situation. I don't, I don't know if I do that. Uh, yeah, he didn't, he didn't specify. You yeah, know, Mike doesn't I, give you, ooh. he doesn't mm-hmm. give you that. But one on one, oh, okay, first and ten, okay, maybe, but. You know, third and seven, I wouldn't advise no, I that wouldn't, at yeah, all. Uh, I, but I you, do it. you've been a part of those defenses that have had those special edge rushers where mm-hmm. teams have had to move the whole pocket, bootlegs out to another end. You got to, there are ways to move around, move around that. Oh, and even when cut I, his big butt down, exactly on the backside, you do, you do everything that you, you possibly to. chip him. All of that is is in your cover to do to to throw it at him. Um, I just think I just feel like offensively, especially when we talk about protecting Tyler Guyton with the tight end, I think that starts to limit your offense because now you're in a situation with with a defense that can get after you and and you can't get all of your weapons out into coverage. You really only have one. No disrespect to those other guys, but <laughs> CeeDee Lamb, I mean, that that's your threat. CeeDee so, Lamb and Ferg, in my opinion. So to me, Heckman, this is where I, I come back into. You say you're limiting your weapons, but if I got Guyton one-on-one with no help, will the weapons have an opportunity? I mean, if I was in, as long as I got, like I said, I got CD in a route, I got Ferguson in a route, I'm asking one of those two guys, I need you to win your match. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to help, we're going to help get back an extra second here, or second and a half. I need somebody to win the route. Even CD, even if you double, I need you to win it because it's going to be this type of football game. And to me, I go back into that game we all talk about in Atlanta mm-hmm. where Chaz Green was out there and they didn't want to help him. Well, it didn't matter that you had four dudes out in a route. You couldn't get the ball out there. It didn't matter. So for me, this is just my opinion. Man, I'll sacrifice one less dude in a route to give my quarterback a little bit of more time. Because I think if Dak has an extra half second, and with the chemistry he has with a CeeDee Lamb and with a Jake Ferguson now, uh, I do believe he can – somebody got to make a play. Cook, somebody somebody got – if I got those three, give me those three in a route, I, I'll see I'll – see, I, I, I believe they can they can generate something. And no, with them. Nui, what I think I'm I'm really trying to say is that Mike McCarthy has to mix it up. He has to Play mix it up. Yeah, you have to mix this 100%. up. And um I agree. You don't you, <laughs> you're not don't be arrogant enough to go out here and think that, hey, just because we gotta get our tight end now, we don't you're not gonna get any help in these situations. No, we have to help you, right? But in this offense that we've seen with Mike McCarthy and what he's developed in his relationship with Dak Prescott has been get the ball out of your hands. 
You know, it's not a five-step drop and, you know, sit up and wait, survey the field. Get the ball out of your hands as quickly as possible. So that quick game, to me, I think Dak should come out and really be sharp in what I call those seven-on-seven throws. That, you know, comeback route, uh, curl, slants, Mm -hmm. you know, things that y'all do out there in, in, in individual drills. Those things should be easy. But when you're going up against a defense that you know, look, they got some, I, I'm not saying that the secondary is not that like that. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, boy, they have a great benefit of some pass rushes That's up nice. front That's that nice. give them that split second to be able to dig on the ball and come back on the ball because you know that quarterback got to get, there's no second guessing that. That's mm-hmm. not a, hey, that's not a, that's not a two route system. Like, he don't have that much time. So to me, that's what I'm saying. Dak has to be. One thing, he has to help his left tackle out by not taking long through his reads and progressions. And if it's not there, try and extend that play. We had not seen Dak run or do anything. Use the legs. Use your legs. Use if it's legs. not there, get out of harm's way, get down, do something, but get the ball out of your hands. Yeah. And I think this is where Mike McCarthy is a play caller. When you talk about mixing it up mm-hmm. and being smart, I think this plays into what he's been able to show you. During his time in this league, he'll, he'll be okay. You know what? Oh, yeah. You know what? You messed me up yesterday, man, with Hunter Lipke. So what I did, let me tell you what I did. I went back and I looked at it. I went to John Coon, all right? Yeah. I went to John Coon. I'm like, how did Mike McCarthy use Coon? And that is backs out of the backfield, out in the flat, you know, a bubble, a bubble screen, you know, to the fullback just to – Make the defense sit back at bay because, if again, like you were just saying, mm-hmm. if they pinning their ears it's back like and they're coming after you day. and you don't have any answer for that, you don't have a play that makes them at least second guess it, misdirection, something, you know, a counter, something. Oh, this could, hey, this thing will be over before it starts. Yeah, real quick. Real quick. Got you thinking about that. No, it does. I mean, because one of the things I don't want to do is be foolish and not at least consider all of the possibilities. And if you have a guy like that that you can use as a weapon, now I ain't saying he going on an ADR run. Okay. No. I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not even saying Pro Bowl. I can't OBC. believe this. I can't believe we did. I, can't, I, 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 I cannot believe this. Listen, this is coming out of your mama. I, I can't believe I, what I did was, on a bubble screen? <laughs> no, listen, yes. You, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to do something. You're gonna have to do something to get Roll this defense off of. Next thing you're gonna be full back hey. counters. Next thing you know, no, you're gonna be running. That's not what I'm saying. A draw with Lipke. No, Roll no, 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 no. Man, you know what? He got that power. Grab your keys. That's what it is. Roll my keys. Roll keys Roll Roll I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Not not down on the screen. That L boogie shot or somebody. What about L boogie on the screen? See, that's what I'm saying. Because even you, as a former defensive player, pro player. If you saw Hunter Lipke in the game, you would think this think is pass pro. This he, he is blocking. pass pro. He blocked and, it. Right? And if he <laughs> boop and turn around, and <laughs> man, BC, BC would have happened. Would have happened. Take your boy. Take your boy. <laughs> I can't believe this, man. I, I see. I just didn't came wanna, on the hey, airwaves. Look at me. I, I can't believe. I just didn't want to throw the wow. possibility. I just didn't want to throw wow. the possibility away. That's how I knew it. That's how I was looking at it. Wow. I did say that. How to lift you on the bubble screen. On the airwaves. No. I can't believe it, man. My car, they got to mix it up. He has to mix it up. But he, I mean, that's mixing it up. That's mixing that's it up. That's mixing it up. You gotta mix I don't think you got to be about eighth on the mix up list. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get a bubble. Hey, third. We gotta, if all it. else fails, do this. Do this. <laughs> I Depth got you. on five out no, here, man. You're right. Wow. We it's, might be there. plays on the play sheet for him. Yep. It's L Boogie package right there. It's, it's in there. <laughs> you Ooh. circled at it. Heckman just told you he did the research. Man, he, just, he did. No. I can't believe it, but he did. No, I mean, it's just, hey, it's just looking at it, exploring the possibilities. And this is a big game. This is a big game, I think, for Dak. If I come back and, you know, without even looking at the score, knowing what the score is, and I look at the stats on Sunday night and I see that Dak has thrown the ball 40 times, I'm like, in trouble. I, I don't think we win that game if, if that's what he has to do. And so I think, and not that I want to make the, cons, the it a conservative game plan by any measure. Mm-hmm. I just think that mixing it up and having that balance in your offense is going to be important. And look, man. Rico Dado is the great unknown in this whole equation because if his career ends today, he ends with 365 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah. And so, he, but he is the most explosive and elusive back that you have in your backfield. And that's so, slightly concerning. That, it is. No, it's been concerning for the last yeah. 90 days. Yeah, you've been that, trying to that, figure that, that out. That's slightly concerning. What is it? <laughs> what is it? We don't know. We don't. We don't know. That 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 is. This is one of the many question marks about this mm-hmm. Dallas Cowboys team going into this game against the Cleveland Browns. We don't know. Right. And 
there's some people right now, there's this whole surge of Rico Dowdle's going to be the RB1 guy. I don't see it. Right, right now, I, I don't know how anyone can say, like, based on what? Maybe as the season goes on, right? You know, right. Something right happens, now, but I mean, yeah, this, right is, now, this is no, not no. a. This I would not. I, I would not just say yes. That's going to happen. Right. We have to see. Mm-hmm. I don't know where Mike's mentality is right now with the run game. I don't know. This is going to be some of the, the beauties of what happens and why we need to be watching, in Cleveland on Sunday to see exactly what happens. Coming up in the show, we will make our picks. Okay, and we got to go through the division winners. We have a game tonight. The mm. world champion Kansas City Chiefs are hosting the Baltimore Ravens on NBC to start the football season. It's tonight. Tomorrow night, you've got the Packers and you've got the Eagles down in South America play, playing a football game. Brazil. Man. Brazil. I mean, this is this is it's it's good stuff. to be in Brazil and can't go nowhere. Man. <laughs> like, what do you mean I can't leave the hotel? You want to come back? Yeah, of course. That's what, yeah, of course. That's what I know. Barry left. There you go. I, <laughs> Where's Barry? Uh, yeah, hell no. <laughs> 48 yonder, hours later. Down, down yonder. <laughs> Ransom note. <laughs> Barry no. Church found in the Amazon. <laughs> they, got a, they got a 42 jersey. Take a water off a leaf. <laughs> right, right. Let's get our first break in right here. Players Lounge brought to you by what? Aristocrat Gaming right here on DallasCowboys.com radio. Oh, man. Are you the 2024 Dallas Cowboys Fan of the Year? The Dallas Cowboys and Captain Morgan are celebrating extraordinary, inspiring, and original fans. Nominate yourself or the biggest Cowboys fan you know for a chance to be named the 2024 Fan of the Year and win prizes, including a trip to Super Bowl 59. Visit DallasCowboys.com slash Fan of the Year. Go Cowboys! Hey there, Cowboys Nation. Kyle Yeomans here, sharing that same team that brought you Buffalo, bringing NFL casino games that show America's team on and off the reels. Aristocrat is changing the game with a new experience. Football fans, this means you can pick your team and play your team. Check out the Cowboys-themed casino games developed by Aristocrat, a proud sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. Gambling problem? Please contact the U.S. National Problem Gambling Helpline at 1-800-GAMBLER. That's 1-800-GAM. B-L-E-R for 21 and over. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites and a full sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the Playmaker at getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code CowboysVIP. That's getjackblack.com slash Cowboys with the code Cowboys VIP. Back to the Players Lounge. Mex Tour is back. Head to AT&T Stadium on Tuesday, September 10th for a showdown between Mexican and Canadian men's national teams. Don't miss another exciting soccer match in Arlington. Tickets are on sale now at SeatGeek.com, the official ticketing provider of AT&T Stadium. Stadium training camp in Frisco. All right, appreciate you. That is Heckma Harrison here yes. in the house. Got Barry Church, former Cowboys safety. I'm going to This is Players Lounge brought to you by Aristocrat Game. It is. Okay. Okay. I, I, okay. 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 Let, let, let's just let's just jump okay. it off right. Jump it off right here, guys. Just jump okay. it off. Go ahead and get into it. Jump it off there. We have a record. Cowboy record for the year. We make a record, man. You gonna put this in, in pen? Look, yeah, well, it's in pen. I, I've already got because I had to make my picks in the Dallas Morning News. Mm-hmm. So I already had to make all my picks. So uh, I said ten and seven for the Cowboys. Ten and seven. Okay. Ten That's and solid. seven. I already yeah. know what you're gonna do. Yeah, you, you, you going? You going lower? You know so, me, man. You, you want me to go last? You want me to go ahead and and get this thing rolling? You know I'm gonna be. You know my numbers gonna be. I'll go ahead and get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go 9 and 8. There you boys. go. That's what I thought you'd go. 9 yeah, I'm gonna and go 8. 9 and 8, man. The 9 and 8. So are we going to have a chance to review this later in the season? What do you or mean, is it just what locked do you mean in? review I'm just saying, this? I'm just saying, is it locked in? 
Yeah, you lie. Huh? You know what? It's the way the players' lives go. I already wrote it down. Nine and eight. We don't change it. We locked in. We locked in. Same with your chest. Same with your chest. Nine and eight. It's gonna be <laughs> okay. Okay, I said ten. Barry said nine. We know Heckman going. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Go Seventeen. Go oh, yeah. got Creed over here. Yeah. Can you take me high? <laughs> Boy, buddy, y'all. Yeah. 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 Greatest show on turf. Here we go. Listen, what man. You, got, you know what? Three, twelve, and five seasons. Why would you think that there would be a lot of proof? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of proof. Time. Proof, consistency, analytics, because regression to the mean. No, but, but come no, on, no, you going no. high? Can you no, take l- me look, I think I think this 14. season, I think this season is going to be a little different, and I think the Cowboys are going to be eleven and seven this year. I mean, yeah, eleven and six. Excuse eleven me. and six. Eleven and six. Let's play on eleven. Man. Eleven and six this season. I think you take a step back, you want you win one less game. You're playing the AFC North. That's the one thing that really makes me nervous about the way that this season is going to start because of who you're playing. Mm. You know, so yeah. 9, 10, 11. There it is. Boom. There it is. And Danny would have been 12 and 5. Mm, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. GQ's not here. I'm not sure we can make that happen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, NFC East. Who wins it, Barry? There hasn't been a repeat winner since, what, 04? 04. Hey, 04. 04. 20 years. Um, it's been a while. Yeah. 20 years, B. I'm going to go with uh, my boys in Pennsylvania. Philly. Go with the Philadelphia. Delphi. Kellen Eagles. Moore. Wow. On this going. Yeah. Kellen Moore. The belief in they, Kellen. They've gotten wow. better. After last year. They've gotten better. Even after losing their center. Even after losing, losing their center. They, they lost their center. Yeah. They addressed the defense. They addressed the skill positions on the outside. They lose Fletcher, Cl- F- Fletcher Cox. Yeah, retires. They got, they got Jordan Davis in there. They got those Georgia boys in there. Oh, I mean, oh, they, they yeah. addressed they did, the, so, they did so much yeah. last year. All better than our defensive line. But they, get, yeah, they, they do, they they, do they, have a better secondary. They they do have a better secondary than last. I look, I'm going Philly. I don't know where y'all going with it, but that's where I'm going with it. I'm going Philly. You think you do you think Dotson makes a big big nah. difference? No, mm-hmm. you don't think that's the. the, I just the say he'll, he might get you a third down here and there, but yeah, I don't I don't think he's gonna be that crazy of a. Yeah, when when the they when I got when, Saquon Barkley though. Yes, they do. They do. Um, but he's 27 years old. We already talked about hey, the, the steep decline is coming, right, Nui? He's, Hold he's on. been he's been hurt. I mean, oh. the guy's not healthy. So, heck me, you got the Cowboys? <laughs> we we talking about, man. We talking about Come age? On, man. 27? You know, yes, absolutely. Okay. You know, the Cowboys. Okay. Okay. Texas got to win it. Yeah. I, I, yeah, you know I, I do. I got the Cowboys winning it. Too. Okay. Right. Man, don't play, play it off like that. Don't play it off like that. Don't play it off like that. Back to back. You coming back. You got your rooted hoodie? Sneak it in. Sneak it in. Got your rooted hoodie? I need to see what, him. Can I ask you a question, man? One percent better, baby. Let's do it. Did, did, <laughs> were you ever, were you one of those players that really even paid attention to to, to who to like the word like fight fit, fight finish and oh no, did, to get did, you, yeah. Yeah. did you ever care? Nah, those are workout those things, videos. Those are workout shirts. Laughing I bet those are workout shirts. Man, it workout shirts, man. It was, that, man. yeah. Just, I, I don't. I didn't. I don't understand. You know the the slogan of the the year mm-hmm. uh, thing they got going on here. Um, I don't know if it's in every. Every NFL I franchise. Know, I, don't, I wasn't in Jacksonville, but yeah, I don't know. It was finish. Then it was it was it fight, fight. Right. Yeah. You know, carpe so, diem. Yeah, carpe diem. Yeah. Yeah. Carpe diem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, rooted. Now it's rooted. One percent, baby. I'm, I'm gonna go with mud. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word. Oh, Seventeen inches was one. Then they had yes. the seventeen inches. Yeah, so I never. That I didn't get that Gary, one either. Man, that was good. Seventeen no. inches, yo. <laughs> Oh, the baseball play the dish the, the play the dish. Ah. Like, hey, and yeah, we rooted this year. We rooted. Rooted. Ten toes down. Did, That's what they said. Did you ever have any of those defensive coordinators that used to show like those uh videos oh. before like Oh, like I had the the main guy that did it. Who was that? It was Rob Marinelli. Every was it every was, Saturday. Was it like animal video? Animal just gruesome people getting their <laughs> limbs ripped off. I yeah. mean, it was, and he was just back there, just narrating the whole thing. Yeah, this is what happens when this guy gets. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was wild. But yeah, yeah he has some, he has some crazy that, man. tapes, man. The hype video. The lions, lions chasing down a buffalo. Yeah, they got the little, <laughs> the little symbol on it, man. It was. And it, Todd Gurley going though. in there and tear you up in yeah, the playoffs. He did, he did do that. Yeah, he did yeah. do that. Todd Gurley. Was it C.J. Anderson who came no, in? I say C.J. Anderson. Yeah, yeah he two, went up. Those went two. Off. Yeah, yeah. The bowling ball. Yeah, okay. Hey, thanks, Rod. Um, so, <laughs> NFC North. It's rooted, look, baby. Look, Rod, Rod Marinelli was good when he had first-round picks. Then all of a sudden he get here. I don't need those guys. I'll take this guy. And that guy. Little dude. No, but stop it. No, go get Booker McFarland. <laughs> go get Warren Sapp. Go get them dudes you had at USC. Daryl Russell. That's the thing. I used to get all mad all day long. You know, he was a try-hard guy. 
He went bro. Warren, Warren <laughs> Sapp ain't a try hard guy. Warren Sapp is good. He's, He's Warren Sapp. First pack, you know. I was like Daryl Russell's really good. Like, dude, you made your name off good players. Now you want to come to the Cowboys? We want some try hard guys. No. Who was that? Tristan Hill. Tristan Hill. Yeah. <laughs> Taco. 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 It went out down to him. It went down him. Tristan man. Hill. A dude yeah, yeah. whose own team benched him. Was UCF. He was there. What are you? Power five. UCF. He signed a contract. He gonna got try hard contract. He's supposed to be the enforcer. <laughs> My man. Gator Row. Gator Row. <laughs> you were talking about the NFC North. Man, y'all got, <laughs> I got the Packers winning. I got the y'all Packers winning. This, NFC North. Who you got in the North? Uh, in the North. Uh, let me go Detroit. You going Detroit? Yeah, I'm going Detroit, man. I like what Campbell got going on up there. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm torn between Green Bay because of what Green Bay did to us and the, just how hot they were at the end they of the season. They had a run. They had a run. And then seeing them against yeah, – look, they, they they look good. But I'm going Detroit. Okay. Yeah. Detroit. Mm-hmm. Look at Detroit. All, all alone. NFC South, give me Tampa Bay, BC. Yeah. Mm, give me Atlanta. Get full card. That's so disrespectful. Like, what did – why Atlanta? Why Atlanta? They got a lot, but well, I think the pieces they added. One, they got a quarterback. They haven't had a quarterback. There. Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I think Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback. Um, they got pieces around him. He could use Drake London. Pitts, I think he can get the most out of Pitts. And then defensively, they added two good pieces. You got yeah, Judon, Judon as a rusher, and then you got the best safety tandem in all football with right. Bates and Simmons in the back. End. Right. And plus, they got AJ Terrell. I think their defense is going to shock a little bit of people. Plus, that division is is trash. It ain't like they got to win. You know, got to have you know, twelve right. wins out there to get that. So. I'm going to Atlanta with that. I'm I'm going with you, New. I'm I'm going Tampa Bay. I think the Bucks, you know, still man have one of the best offenses in quarterback wide receiver tandem oh, uh, in, in the league, and and I think that's going to be the difference uh, in those uh, NFC South matchups. And they got a good coach, Todd Bowles, is a good, oh, yeah. and good yeah. and Todd Bowles. Uh, West San Francisco, easy like that, huh? Mm. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Give me give me give me San Francisco on that one. Rams might be I though. Who? The Rams might be all right this year. Look, man, when we practice against the Rams, I saw, I mean, this, the Rams got violence on their mind. I mean, they was tossing us out the club in practice. The so, white team, you know, baby. And Puka Nakua, another year. Puka and them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Puka and them. What What's got? up with it? Can you stay healthy? San Francisco. Can San Francisco. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. All that <laughs> from San Francisco. San Francisco. <laughs> all right. Your wild cards. Give me Arizona. The Rams. So I'm going up to, I'm a, and and I am going with uh, I'm going with DQ to, to, mm, to surprise DQ in DC. That's right. Even though they got the they had to fire their content manager. I don't know who's going to put together the hype videos. Now, <laughs> but uh, good luck. But you know it's, it's three. It's it's going to be three wild card teams. So who's your third team? Uh, Arizona. Ari- Kyler goes. What? He's going to get an iPad. What? Yeah, that thing gonna be playing. So wait, 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 wait. So you going? You going? L.A., mm-hmm. Arizona, mm-hmm. and Washington? Yes, sir. Wow. wow. Okay. Sir, just wow. like the, we saw the East a couple years ago, Philly, Dallas, and the Giants. Mm-hmm. So there we go. Gonna be tough. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Green Bay, mm-hmm. Philly. I'm gonna go Green Bay, Philly. Man, I'm gonna toss up here. I'm gonna go Green Bay, Philly, L.A. Rams. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go Green Bay, Rams. Mm. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough, man. It's tough. Ah, oh, Green Bay, Rams. Now, give me the Cowboys to sneak in there. Okay. The Cowboys to sneak in there. <laughs> I'm going to sneak in. I'm going to get the sneak in. They're going okay. to get the sneak, gonna get the sneak in. Get the sneak who's, your in. NFC, who's your NFC champion? Oof. Oof. Man, give me. Man, give me Detroit. Give me Detroit, man. Give me Detroit NFC champions. Oh, oh man. man. This is so that's ugly. Good. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Oh, heck my, heck my, heck my. What you going to do for us? Man? Yeah. I, I know where you go with it. Nah, man. It's, you know what? I, think, I, yeah, I just look like this, man. man. I, this is, this is, it's going to be hard to be San Francisco. It you is. know, it really is. It's going to be hard to be San Francisco. And I, I'm, uh, what I'm you got? Go- I'm going with the Cowboys, hey, man. Quit playing with me. Quit playing go. with me, man. There you go. Know what I'm going to do. Cowboys to the bowl, baby. Cowboys to the bowl. Y'all ready for this? Dang. Y'all ready for this? Dang. Y'all ready for this? You ain't worth a damn, dog. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I got Detroit with you. You got Detroit with me? I got Detroit. They going to be. They going to be. 
They're going to be something That's else. pretty good, Nui. I like that. We're going to play that music all season. That's how we going to do it. Every, every time we pay. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this our year, man. We got at one point. At one then point. He, then he said the, the slogan. This our year. Then you said it, man. It's all, man. It's definitely a dozen. Man, definitely how definitely many now. times? I knew I was waiting for you to say it. How that, many man. times? It's our year. It's our year, man. man. Dog. How many times can we be denied? I can't believe we keep it. knocking. We keep knocking. We keep knocking. Man, got Come on, man. We oh, got a break. They got that man. They got him in the Super Bowl. No, no. <laughs> got him in there, dog. That was NFC champ. I know, man. NFC champ. I know, no, man. He say it's all year. I didn't. Hey, I didn't pick him to win. I didn't pick him to win. We didn't say he was going to win. Hey, you already know. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. There's no way. Because I don't believe that the Lions are better than us, man. It's just dope. Mm. I'm not going with that. Okay. okay. I've seen him do it. Uh, yeah. Ten toes down, baby. Yeah. <sighs> this is Super Bowl 59 this year? Yeah, 59. In New Orleans. 28 years, they ain't been there. It's okay. Come on, now, I will say this. No, Barry, we're going to be down have... there, man, with beignets <laughs> and hurricanes. No. I, if they do, I'm Yes. Gonna I know. You're going to be the first one. Yes. You're going to be the first one. You're going to be the first one. I'll be the <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Let's go. Beignets up in this <laughs> Beignets and hurricanes. Right, we, come on, let's, Cowboy Nation. Let's take a break. When we come back. We'll do the <laughs> Y'all AFC. Y'all make me sick, man. We'll do the AFC. Is, I can't uh, believe it. Heckman's got them winning, winning the NFC Championship. Yes. We'll be in New Orleans. The Cowboys yes. won Super Bowl six in New Orleans. They won Super Bowl twelve in New Orleans. I like it. Okay. First All right. Lipke. Um, <laughs> First yes. Lipke down uh, the year, man. Come on, y'all. That boy AFC, that AFC <laughs> winners and wild card teams next right here. Players Lounge brought to you by Aristocrat Gaming on DallasCowboys.com. Radio. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Tell you that. To kick off the 2023 NFL season, Hugo Boss teamed up with the NFL and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection featuring hoodies, crews, t-shirts, polos, joggers, and more. The bold, unique apparel of the Boss NFL collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, at hugoboss.com, and at Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag be your own boss. I'm Cowboys alumni, Danny McCray, here with Smoothie King asking, what's that sound? That's the sound of me sipping one of their power Pack smoothies with over 10 grams of protein. With real fruits and organic veggies, because at Smoothie King, what you see is what you sip. So grab a delicious Smoothie King smoothie, throw a straw in your jaw, and get sipping real. Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. Hey there, Cowboys Nation. Kyle Yeomans here, sharing that same team that brought you Buffalo, bringing NFL casino games that show America's team on and off the reels. Aristocrat is changing the game with a new experience. Football fans, this means you can pick your team and play your team. Check out the Cowboys-themed casino games developed by Aristocrat, a proud sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. Gambling problem? Please contact the U.S. National Problem Gambling Helpline at 1-800-GAMBLER. That's 1-800-G-A-M-B-L-E-R for 21 and over. Raising Cane's presents the other rules of football. Rule 1, any broadcast without the express edition of cook-to-order Cane's chicken fingers is prohibited. Rule 12, no crinkle-cut fries, Texas toast, or craveable Cane sauce constitutes an illegal formation. And Rule 31, anybody who loves to feed their game face is an eligible receiver of Cane's. When it comes to winning game day, Cane's rules. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. Go Cowboys. To the Players Lounge. <laughs> are you are you the 2024 Dallas Cowboy fan of the year? The Dallas Cowboys and Captain Morgan are celebrating extraordinary, inspiring, and original fans. Nominate yourself or the biggest Cowboy fan you know for a chance to be named the 2024 Fan of the Year and win prizes, including a trip to Super Bowl 59. Hey. Visit DallasCowboys.com <laughs> slash fan of the year. Go Cowboys! Okay, I saw Rob last month. You know, Rob, Rob has that New York accent. Come on, New York. You know who he is, man. I ain't lying. Cut it. Cut it. He's that guy, man. So. Yeah. Shout out to Rob, man. 
Ron Parker. Parker, my guy, mm. my guy. Yeah, man. he had. A, he tried. He tried something, man. It failed on him, man. I love yeah. Ron Parker. I hate Ron to see Parker. it. Good people. Good people. Okay, back here in the players' lounge. Brought to you by Aristocrat Gaming, Barry Church, former Cowboy safety, Heck Harrison of New York Scrubs. Okay, uh, we went over our NFC uh, predictions. <laughs> We gave our cowboy record. Oh, yeah, baby. Church went nine and eight. I went oh, ten yeah. and seven. Heckman went eleven and six. Heckman, I had the Cowboys winning the East. Church has uh, Philadelphia winning the East. But the NFC East champion, Church and I, though we did not share information, we both came to the conclusion that former cowboy Dan Campbell and the Lions will be in New Orleans at the Super Bowl. Heckman has picked the Cowboys. So now let us go over. Who'd y'all pick? Y'all picked Detroit to play the Cowboys in the NFC Championship. I know y'all did. Come on, just admit it. Admit it. Admit it. It was close. It was close. It was close. close. Come on in. Don't act like I'm that far off, man, when I say that. Y'all get on. Come on, man. Why were y'all gonna make it that kind of year? Are we really gonna be like this this year? I just all right, so you asked, have has Philadelphia gotten better? Has Dallas? Gotten better. I feel like who did you who did you lose that was so bad that you say, oh man, there's no way that we can win 12 games this season. There's no way that we can win the division this year. Who was that player? If you and it, come on, I mean, and everybody that you say, even if you go left tackle, an aging left tackle, second, hey, second, uh, was it second string uh, Pro Bowl, whatever it was for the Pro Bowl, he made the Pro Bowl, right? Um, I'm not looking at guys like uh, who was Armstrong. I'm not looking Fowler. at L- Fowler. I'm not looking at Tyler losing. He wasn't all pro last year. He was. That's what I'm saying. I'm not denying. I'm not denying that. But I'm there's, talking. There's one. I'm talking about the talent of your team. I'm talking about the talent of your. T- you're talking, asking me about the talent of our team, mm-hmm. and I'm talking about the all pros that we still currently have on this roster. And I think you have a good enough roster to win it. I don't look in comparison to NFC champs. Yeah. Super Bowl bound, baby. I mean, look, you you did pick them to win the division. You're the only one that didn't pick That's them true. to win the division, but you didn't go as far to say that they wouldn't make the playoffs. Nah, those, those so there is something. Those there is good. something even at that nine and eight that's telling you that they will be in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Okay. They got a shot. They got a shot. So I ain't half wrong. Hey, you don't have to preach it to me, Harry. Mm-hmm. You don't have to preach it. <laughs> It's okay, man. Look, you don't have to be a politician I, listen, about it. You don't have to preach it. What kind of seasoning do you want on that crow? Because I'm going to be serving it. Hey, man. That Lowry's. All right. Yeah, All right. You want some Lowry's? Get that, get that Louisiana hot you've sauce. Ser- <laughs> you've been serving so much since you joined us on this show, heck, man. Hey, you know what? When I said 12 and 5 last season, you didn't come back and say, Heckman, you was right about that. Uh, and the year right. before, you, you didn't come back and right. say, Heckman, you was right about that. Yeah. You didn't You didn't say that, you right? Just, but you, man, I'm telling you, you be on me at the beginning of the season because none of it is played out. So, Nui, you yourself. Oh, you got to let him know. Let you him yourself. Play it out. What'd you say? You yeah. yourself. <laughs> you yourself is eating a lot of crow in this situation, so you've been full of it too. <laughs> so hey, you know, if I'm selling it, you consuming we you. it. We got you, eleven to six, man. We got you, Super Bowl. Okay, I think we going. <laughs> it's not you. I done heard it all. Man. <laughs> Let's go, man. AFC I- East. I've got Miami winning it. BC. Who you got? Wow. Man, give me the Jets, man. Ray Ross stays healthy. Give me the Jets. Heck, man. You know what? I'm going Jets, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm going Jets, too. I think defense, running game. Oh, their defense is crazy. Yeah. All right. AFC North, Baltimore. That's who I've got winning it. BC. Mm. Man, give me uh, give me Cincinnati. Healthy Joe B. That's crazy. Okay. Healthy Joe yeah. B. Give me Cincinnati. I, I'm riding shotgun. I'm yeah, right back is. with you. Let's Cincinnati. Ride. I think Let's the Bengals. I think the Bengals going back at Jamar Chase. You know, he's fighting for that money. You got to show and prove. I think you got some weapons out there. All right. Houston's who might pick for the AFC South Church. Man, give me give me Duval. Man. Man. Give me Duval. I know last year Never was some again. bull job, but Never you know, done. they quarterback got hurt. Did, so. Give me Duval. Man. Here's where we park. Um, <laughs> here's, I'm going to the 713 on this one, man. I'm going H Town. Okay. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. going to the H Town on this. AFC West. Come on now. Give we me come Kansas on now. Kansas City. Come on now. AFC West. KC. Mm. Now the wild card is going to be crazy. Who you got, Heckman? <sighs> KC as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah give me KC. Yeah, I got KC. Okay, wild card. Give me the Chargers. Yeah. Go, Jay Hurd. No, 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 no Kelly Moore holding Let's go, back. Jay Hurd. Uh, God. Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Cleveland going to slide in there. You got to believe land. Over, 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 defense. Over, defense. Okay. Defense. Okay. Defense. And uh, I'm going to try Duval. Yeah. <laughs> sliding, Duval. sliding. 
Sliding in. Duval, Duval baby. Of, it was Duval of the Jets. And so I'm like, yeah, 40-year-old quarterback. Uh, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I think I did. I made another mistake. I can't trust him. Dude. Well, look, I'm going – I'm definitely going Baltimore, Miami, and I can't go Duval. So I'm going to follow up with these charges. I think there may be a difference in, in your man Herbert this year. Mm, okay. Right, BC. Okay. Right. No, definitely the Chargers. Definitely the Chargers slide in there. Give me Buffalo. Give me, give me, give me Josh Allen, Pixie Dust. Let me get Buffalo <laughs> in there. Talk about see, hey, you, and ba- see, and Baltimore, and Baltimore. What? Oh, man, give me it's Pixie not you. Dust. Give me Pixie Dust gonna slide. In there. <laughs> Pixie. All season long. Is he on your fantasy? AFC the dust. Is no, he on your... I, no, my set mother fantasy. Yeah. Yes. Let me get the okay, dust. Yeah, I know <laughs> it. I know it. Who, who I wins know. the AFC, man? Who, who, who winning it? Who's winning it? Oh, yeah. Give me KC. 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 They bought a three P. Heck, man. I'm Patty. I'm going with Patty, man. This is, Patty. I don't see I don't see anything stopping Patrick Mahomes right now. Oh, I think with the new weapons that he had, the speed that they have over there. Right. Jones, that, that defense is crazy. Um, they, they didn't get any of the credit that they should have mm-hmm. last season for win, helping them win the Super Bowl, uh, get them to that point. They carried them a lot in the season last year. And, man, it's just sometimes you see those players go from, you know, like just being a great player – to godlike almost when mm-hmm. you win three in a row, like that's that's you just cement this man yeah, right now, and, and there's nobody compared to him. All right, so you've got Kansas City winning yeah. the Super Bowl over Dallas. I do. Who you got, New Baltimore? Winning the whole thing, or winning the, the AFC? Thing. I okay. got to win the AFC and oh, the, the whole thing. thing. Lamar gonna finally Whoa. lift one up, huh? Oh, L Jack. That's. Oh, that Damn. Jack. And King Le- Henry. Lamar, you might have had a chance until that <laughs> pick, right? <there. laughs> it's, o- it's over now. <laughs> it's over. <They> go- <laughs> <laughs> you had a shot right up into that pick. When we was doing this last year, <laughs> talk about <laughs> No, nah, you don't do me like tragic. that. See tragic. how you do it? It was tragic last year. Was See, it ain't no Duval. fun. Duval. Hey, Duval, 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 man. Ain't they, no they fun. They're going to be high this year. They're going to be high this year. Duval, man. man. Ain't no fun Duval. when the Duval. rabbit got the gun. Duval, is it? Duval. I'm like, man, these dudes. Duval they couldn't, even win the, couldn't even win the division, man. Yeah, couldn't they, even they, what kind they of lead was that they had last it was like, year? It was like four crazy. game lead or something crazy. It's trash. Uh, so <laughs> trash. Duval. Never again. <laughs> trash. No, trash. So, so don't do leave me Baltimore, alone. Man. I got Baltimore <laughs> winning it. You got Kansas City winning it. Yes. Who's your Super Bowl champion down in New Orleans? Oh yeah, KC's going to re, uh, three peak that. Hit him with the Michael Jordan. Um, yeah, I just don't see anybody stopping them guys. And defensively, they only getting better. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a rough season for a lot of cats. That's going to be a hell of a Super Bowl, Baltimore too. Baltimore won their last Super Bowl in New Orleans, too, by the way. I was there. Okay. Well, you were there? What is that the one we were talking about just yesterday? Mm-hmm. The one when that, the lights When the lights went out. When the lights went out. Kaepernick, Kaepernick had a shot. One, it was, that's it was, a scary could, situation. I remember yeah. the lights went out. Was you in New York when the lights went out when we was playing the Giants up there? That was like 2011, I think. That was crazy. 2010. And I was nuts, man. I was nuts. No, I was not there at that one. But that one in the Super Bowl in New Orleans, that was, that was bad. That was really bad. I'm about to say, it's got to be scary. That was bad. That was bad. That was scary. It was bad. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was uh, around ASAP. I, mean, I tell you what, if you guys ever get an opportunity, watch that 30 for 30 uh, on the ball, the 2000 Baltimore Ravens. Oh, I didn't even know they had one. No, uh, it, it's, it's, it, 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 they filmed that yes. a day, what well, was it, a day or a week before Saragusa passed away? Mm. It's something crazy. It's that last time, you know, actually talking about that team, but they narrated the season, and it really, no, it, it is, it is something to behold the way that they went from from Banks, you know, to different quarterback, and the way that they maneuvered through that oh season. Yeah, Tony, yeah. Tony Banks. Oh, that's the America's game you talk about. The America's the NF, the one that the NFL does, the one the Super Bowl teams. No, this was a 30 for 30. 30 for 30? Mm-hmm. Okay. ESPN 30 for 30. Was, was this the one where they were all on the stage They were together? on stage, okay. yes. Okay, so I've seen that with you. There was two of them that they did. That the, the America's game was pretty good, too, because they yeah. talk about going from Tony Banks, former cowboy, um, yeah. and, and and just getting all that done there. But uh, Was he that team. bad? I don't really remember Banks being like – I mean, the defense was unreal. Yeah. 
But that was, I think at the time they were trying to figure out the balance that they had with their coach. And he was one of those guys that came from Minnesota and was used to airing the ball out with Chris Carter and Moss. Mm -hmm. And he had to get that back to basics with their running game with Lewis, the other Lewis. Jay Lou. Yeah, Jay Lou. uh, To get things worked out. And that's why they went through that change. Tony Banks was just an interception machine. He was, I mean, he was turning it over. And as you know, as a defensive guy, if you have a quarterback that's putting you in harm's way and you oh, got a good mad. defense like that, you mad. Yeah, them yeah. guys was hot. That's how he was so, in Jackson. So they <laughs> went to a real bus driver. In Tr- Tr- oh, Tr- yeah. That was driving the bus. He was driving. Don't, hey, man, don't mess with it. The, I wonder if he gets defensive, like. If people are like, man, you know, you was just kind of a bus driver. He's like, no, I did my part. You know he's just like, hey, it is. You know what? what? He's almost like Milan to his fate when he says, dude, I, I had one of the best defenses in the world. Yeah, what, why what wouldn't, is, you? Yeah, why wouldn't you? I say yeah. that? He's Hell actually yeah. pretty cool when you talk to him about it. He, he really did. He's like, I got a Super Bowl ring. I really don't care what you think. I got right. a Super Bowl That's ring. Facts. And I was smart enough to, what, what do we need to do? Yeah. Um, and, and go out there and do it. So, yeah, Trent, 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 I mean, he's, he's a confident dude. You know, he's a confident guy, so he he don't care. Mm-hmm. He, he's got a ring, and he got to play with on one of the best defensive teams in history. Yeah. You know, probably a top three team, oh, yeah, probably a top three, top five defensive team in NFL That's history. So, but he he doesn't care because he's got a ring on it. So you can't take that from him. No, y'all got to watch it. I'm telling you, uh, it's, it's, it's good. Thirty seven, thirty seven. Really okay, gentlemen. Um, it's like that. Yeah, it's, it's time to go. Right. It's forty five. Uh, it's forty five. Friday. Tomorrow. 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 Get to see who you pick. The hey. game picks. Hey, man. <laughs> game road picks. To the, uh, road to the Super Bowl. Start you know me all, you, all day to day, man. I, I started know, with man. PFF. No, nah, that's the start. And then it's, it's, it's I, you, no. Nah. And Lip, hey, it, no, Friday. Lipke took it over there. Took it over there. I can see it happening. I'm that's out of here, Harrison, man. thank you. Barry Church, thank you. Our <laughs> name is Felix right. Players Lounge. Brought to you by Aristocrat Game. We'll talk to you tomorrow right here on DallasCowboys.com radio. I believe it. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!